Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, here we are in mid-June and it's been uh, so far a pretty good solar month, but as you can see today, uh, very gray, uh, not a lot of solar coming into the system, which brings me to the point of what happened in May when we got just tons and tons of days like this where it was really not great solar. Uh, did keep up to some degree, but uh, we had so many days like this, had to supplement the solar just a little bit. So just to recap uh, what I'm running into the uh, main solar system, got a thousand watts solar array there, two separate strings, 500 watts per string for a thousand watts. And I'll show you what that looks like on a real gray day like today. And this is the bottom string, a whopping 1.9 amps. So back in the utility room here with that thousand watts coming in, or uh, the panel, thousand watts uh, available if the sun was shining. And then if I uh, show you like what's coming in on one string. You can see down there right now I've got 10 amps coming in uh, under full sun conditions. Uh, it should be about 30 amps coming in, but only 10 on that one. And we'll see what the other one looks like. And right here is the, the current uh, state of charge for the two 300 amp hour uh, Chins batteries, which is running the main house. So today I'm not going to have to worry even though I'm probably not going to get a very good charge. I'm going to be fine. That'll probably throughout the day get up to <clears throat> Of course, I never know but It'll probably get well into the 70 70th percentile of charge state of charge which will keep me in good shape won't need any kind of supplemental charge at all but my whole point of this video was in may uh with many many of these really pea soup kind of days where that kind of a charge was coming in off of the thousand water ray and running the entire household 24 7. i was starting to get down uh below what I like to do before I started recharging these batteries and once it got down to uh, about 30 percent and I could see the weather was not going to change at all I fired up the gas generator which I always hesitate to do and I don't do it unless I want to just uh, keep my batteries primed where I like them so once it dropped down to 30 percent I fired up a little 2000 watt generator uh, fired up this Victron charger, uh, 30 amps, and I let one gallon of gas uh, in that generator, which was a 2000 watt Honda. One gallon of gas. I just plugged it in and let it run until that went out. And it took it from about 30% uh, up to, uh, it was like in the 70th percentile, 72, 73%. And then after that, uh, the solar kept up with it. So at one point uh, in the entire month of May, I went ahead and pumped a gallon of gas into this system. And that came out to $5.50, which is what the gallon of gas cost here in Hawaii at that time. And for those of you that have been watching uh, my previous videos, you know that I had this uh, power crane queen battery down here uh, running as a little bit of a backup uh, for the system it's another standalone little system that's been working well I just uh, was running some other experiments on this and decided not to uh, switch over the house to this system which I easily could have done especially for like running that refrigerator which runs 24 seven. 
Uh, I just didn't want that main battery bank to go down below 30%. I just like to work uh, within my own uh, parameters and once a main battery starts to get down below 30%, I like to make sure it gets up to a, a, a better charge. I don't drain these things down, uh, but the lithium batteries can be drained all the way down, but I could just tell by the, the way the weather was running that uh, I wanted to boost that system. So I never did employ this. I was running some other experiments on this system when that main uh, battery bank that I just showed you was getting down to 30%. I boosted it up. Haven't had to... And so for the entire month of May, that's all I did. And, and like I said, I could have just switched it over to this and been fine and let that other bank get up to where I like it to get uh, to be. And I typically run these uh, lithium batteries uh, between 80% and 50% uh, is usually all that happens in normal sunshine cycles. But sometimes out here, dark, dark, rainy, rainy days, very little solar. So for the entire month of May, I went ahead and spent $5.50 to keep the house running. And I just thought that was uh, very interesting because uh, this system continues to run the house well. Uh, the addition of the refrigerator, of course, is the biggest draw. All of these various components, which I've showed you uh, videos of all of these things, everything's just still working uh, absolutely perfectly. Very happy with it. And as I'm speaking, you can see, oh, wow. 18 amps coming if in off the top string so there's just a little bit of light peeking through but anyway for that week period 10 day period in uh, may i did have to supplement five dollars and fifty cents so that's a pretty decent utility cost and like i said i could have made that zero but because of running some experiments on the other little backup system i uh just opted to go ahead and charge it up to where I like. So I hope you found this short uh, video interesting and gave you some ideas about, you know, the supplemental costs of running on solar. A lot of you live in really, really sunny conditions. Uh, that was never would never be an issue. You'd be just fine on solar all the time. Pretty much it's that way here as well, but every now and then uh, have to give it a little shot of uh, gas, but boy, at today's prices, we're not doing that very much. So I'm pretty happy with only having to do uh, a $5 <laughs> boost charge. I don't think it's going to be happening for the next few months. Everything's doing fine. And even at the start of this video where it was real dark, uh, it's getting brighter now and the system's going to go up 70, 80%, which is just perfect. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. All right. Hope you're all having a good day. Aloha.